can't be arrested. What? I see why it thought he was too fa famous to be arrested. Put both your hands out the window. I don't know why. Bro, imagine you're too famous to be arrested. Followers failed to help anything as TikTok's dumbest criminal has been in jail for almost a full year. To introduce the type of guy he is, I see why it was employed before TikTok. Had a job. I worked at McDonald's. Yet a family member oh, exposed him, up. stating he worked there for a week and showed up one day and they were like, why are you here? He found out the previous day he showed up to work so high on Xanax that he got fired and he didn't remember any of it. Thankfully for Wyatt, however, a work ethic wasn't needed for his genre of TikTok content, simply being a feminine man who was attracted to women. If I had a girlfriend... Wait, he not gay? Sorry, I had to pause it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I had to pause it, bro. Hair, name... He's straight? Nails. Don't New pause. Bag. Yeah. Because I want to take care of my girl. I'll be so proud to have a girlfriend and I would have been obsessed with her. No that was his way, very bro. first TikTok and it gained over 8 million bro, views, girl? fueled by people wondering if he was actually telling the truth. I see why it nah, fit like into this bro, to achieve a repeat audience with videos as simple as people who don't understand that I can be femme and still like girls, giving him hundreds of thousands of likes. Came off, why really, it bro? funneled his attention into bingo gambling spots. Sponsorships. I am the king of bingo. I am the king of gambling. And then scolded the audience because they weren't as rich as him. I make eight hundred thousand dollars a month year. You're not even near my tax bracket. Google me. I hate people network. like that. Maybe bro. White had an oh ego as he previously I been in jail. Like, been to jail like you can't touch times, me. Shut up realized he most definitely deserved. Because a user named KD yeah, Nail Artistry bro. uploaded a TikTok explaining she was the one who did Wyatt's nails and he agreed to pay me from the start at a price of $200 for three different sessions. Well, rather than paying, he wrote me a check from a closed bank account. He also knew I was in nail school at the time, so not only was Wyatt a total scumbag, but it also seemed he wasn't bro, as not rich gay? as he professed. Despite this, Wyatt only See, kept on bragging. Gee, I sure do look like the disappointment the time. They don't got money like that. Isn't it funny how I make the most money? Sit down. Believing that you'll get much further in life by cutting off all the toxic people You're and focusing sleep, on becoming the main character. Wyatt seemingly went against his own advice and Ooh, began dating like a girl named Moore with whom he started to spend irresponsible amounts of money. Okay, so baby got her vans. Hey, you know, I had to give me one too. Stop playing with some vans babies now. Wyatt had his Mercedes wrapped in hot pink while Moore's Mercedes was crashed within a month, introducing everyone to Wyatt's terrible drive driving history. He had to move out of California solely because of driving offenses. The reason why I went to Florida was because I couldn't drive here. I had like so many traffic tickets and like <laughs> driving on suspended license, oh, okay. DUIs, bro, everything. So I went to Florida so and I got easy, my bro. Like, and it was perfectly fine. And would upload an old video of his of road, road rage incident, crash, trying to look tough with the title Don't Play 80 With the time crash, bro. Wyatt was clearly proud of being a terrible human. And normally I'm not that nice. Normally it doesn't matter who you are I will be like shut the f up I don't want to hear about that please stop talking about that next subject and nothing solidified this more than a video he accidentally posted he'd already given the audience a tour of his house but it was specifically on this house's front walkway that he'd kick his girlfriend out by throwing away all of her possessions Wyatt claimed the video was posted accidentally and the couple quickly reconciled but the pink Mercedes seen back in the tour was about to be another problem 25 days after getting the car, he'd post this TikTok looking all bruised and battered, which came with a tweet reading, I'm gonna get some rest and try and recover. My face is in so much pain and the rest of my body. Wyatt then gave some context. He claimed that two white hillbillies attacked him unprovoked. I was hate crimed in Florida. I was attacked by two men. My car was stuck between like a Chick-fil-A line. They backed me in so that they could both come out and come on either side of my car and attack me. Describe like what they looked like. like older men, Big like our Fat hillbilly in like a white pickup truck. That's yeah. what they look like. And I'm in a the white with this type of nails. Yeah. What's the facial features? I'm saying crime, what you police beat him further because he didn't take off his seatbelt. Gosh, should I do a story time about how I got ripped out my Mercedes and my ass beat for trying to take my seatbelt off when they tell me to get out the car? White had filmed his own snippet of the incident. I can't take the seatbelt off. 
You need to show some respect. Posting only what made him look like a victim with the caption, Sunrise County Police in Broward County ambushed me in my neighborhood hours after I had called for help in a road rage bro, incident bro gay or not? The day. They didn't send anyone to help me, but came to my house hours later and held me at gunpoint. Actually, I don't know if I'm so this is not about. okay. The victim here, right? Well, later that day, TMZ posted their own article. TikTok star Fuck. Icy White arrested for battery on police officer, which clarified he was booked on Monday night for two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, one count of battery on an Brother, officer, gotta... and one count of resisting arrest. Wyatt's innocence was suddenly in question, yet he continued to claim I was the victim. This was in self-defense, also adding I didn't batter the police. I was handed my phone and then another officer ripped it out of my hand and because I didn't release it right away he said I assaulted him. Crazy On TikTok White though. maintained it was all police's fault. The rumors are not true. There will be several news stories coming out soon about what actually happened. The police were in many wrongs. Until the body cam footage was publicly released. To nobody's surprise White wasn't actually hate crimed. It began with him parked in the middle of the street yelling at a random lady leading the two white hillbillies to stand up for the woman. They politely told Wyatt to get back in the car, stop blocking traffic, to which Wyatt responded by pistol whipping them, throwing a drink on their car, and driving erratically in front of them. <laughs> almost hitting a lady with her infant baby so as he sped away dickhead. from the scene. In a beautiful display of stupidity, Wyatt then called so police himself dickhead. reporting, okay. I just pulled over because somebody just tried to kill me in the car. This he truck came up and tried to cut me off. So I pulled over to the next lane and again he's trying to swerve into my lane and tried to hit the car, yet this is actually what he'd done to them. Wyatt then continued lying and then I had four guys jump out of the car and say, we're gonna beat the crap out of you and stuff. Funny, failing to include fuck. that he'd pistol whip them after. After speaking with these hillbillies, police discovered the truth, showing up at Wyatt's house to arrest him, where he'd speak the infamous line, y'all don't know who I am. Wyatt maintained I didn't hit nobody, claiming his girlfriend was there to confirm his story. Oh my girlfriend can't be a witness to a, Was she a, with you? Yes! Oh, okay. Well, we're, we can talk to her when she gets here. More then showed up to tell her side. Yet it was later shown by this frame that Moore wasn't even there at the time. Wyatt's final defense of having a gun was because he drove a bright pink car who is famous online and gets messed with on the freeways all the time, as if it's been a lifelong issue and he didn't just buy the car four weeks before. He added, I have millions of followers. People make this stuff up all the time. To which the cop responded, Not everybody knows who you are prompting Wyatt to add, I have 58 million followers. Everybody who's been on TikTok or Instagram has seen who I am. Before spending the night in jail, Wyatt bragged about his jewelry. You know this is some 80,000 on a team that went person, right? Being released the following day and posting a celebratory TikTok. You can't get rid of me, bitch. Wyatt then called the paparazzi on himself to claim the don't you know who I am phrase was referring to him being the one who called police. I called the police okay. and told them that this whole altercation happened. So right. when they pulled up, I said, don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? Bragging about his followers was due to his head injury. I'm not slurring my words okay. until they slam my head on the ground. Then I'm like, oh, I have 58 million followers. Which was covered by a brand new tattoo of his girlfriend's name on his face. Despite treating the arrest like one massive joke, Wyatt was in serious trouble. So yeah, I might be facing 20 years in prison because of this name. Yet he'd still post TikToks such as this one. All right, y'all. Do y'all think I should get this 2021 Range Rover or should I get a G-Wagon? Leading to many comments mocking him. If I were facing up to 20 years, I don't think looking for a new vehicle would be at the top of my list of things to do. Initially, because Wyatt was now awaiting trial, if I got pulled over, I could get the maximum sentence, 10 yeah. years. Leading to a TikTok beef with his very own mother. She simply gave Wyatt the most oh, obvious advice bad. ever. She's like, well, you know, you're supposed to be driving. If you get pulled over, you're going to go to jail for 10 years. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl, He's can we 20? talk about this another time? Like, I'm really not trying to hear about this. She's like, 
okay, well, I'll talk to you about it later. Then I'm like, no, I don't ever want to talk to you about it unless I bring it up because that's something that triggers me. Leading to their relationship completely falling apart. They publicly argue back and forth about anything and everything, although Wyatt failed to take any of her advice. Because during this period of waiting for his sentence, Wyatt's stepdad proudly announced he got into an altercation and keyed a car while he was out on bail. As a result, Wyatt was rearrested to be jailed until his trial, predicting just beforehand he wouldn't be in for long. I'm looking at probably a month's time in $10,000. However, three months passed without a word about his trial, and his plan to work out every day didn't exactly happen. Because I'm gonna just be working out the whole time. As he'd tell his girlfriend via jail phone, he'd gained 40 pounds or 18 kilos. In the process- How do you gain weight in prison? Like- how do you gain weight in prison? When they say when they say you was twenty, this guy's he just wouldn't annoying. be in for long. This guy's I'm annoying, looking at bro. probably a month's time in ten thousand dollars. However, three months passed without a word about his trial, and his plan to work out every day didn't exactly happen. Because I'm gonna just be working out the whole time. As he'd tell his girlfriend via jail phone, he'd gained 40 pounds or That's 18 crazy. kilos. In the process, Wyatt was facing other issues. Have you gotten in a fight since you've been in there? I was attacked. As more finds out why, it will be serving at least two years. I know I was being Delulu, like thinking that this was gonna be like quick and easy and that you were gonna be home soon. The reality is just like very much like hitting me now. Despite this, Moore had Icy Wyatt tattooed on her neck, live streaming the session during which she'd get a call. On the phone was a debt collector asking for payments on a mattress. They've got all this money apparently, but can't buy a mattress outright. Wyatt's mum then revealed they had had payments on their cars, making it obvious they'd financed their whole life and were pretty much broke. Two months ago, Wyatt vocalized being worried about the cost of a phone call while his 40 pound weight gain has turned into 70. I gained 70 pounds since I've been here. Can you believe that? I've gained almost 100 pounds. As a last ditch effort, Wyatt sent the judge a letter stating, I feel absolutely terrible and ashamed for the way I handled things with these people. I'm not the type of person to hurt anyone or vandalize people's property. That just isn't who I am or who I want to be, nah, but that's the exactly judge who didn't you are. buy it. Don't I see Wyatt still yet to be convicted, having spent 12 months in prison and lost absolutely everything simply because he couldn't hold his anger. Bro, I like this guy. He be, he be making me feel, like care about things I don't care about. I ain't gonna lie. I did not know I hated somebody so much. I didn't know I, did, I had I had a lot, I had hate in my heart until I watched this video, bro. Like, what a dickhead, bro. What a dickhead. Like, bro, what an entitled little prick. This this little this little, little battery on an off. This little shit thought he could do whatever he want. This little shit thought he could do whatever he want. The world the world is his oyster type shit. And then he fucked around and he found out, broski. Now, matter of fact, he should get the max at this, bro. Give him 20 years, bro. What? But he's reckless driving. He doesn't know how to drive, which is literally like, bro, it's so easy. You know what I'm saying, broski? And this Uber, bro. You got so much money, it's Uber everywhere, broski. The fuck?